Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to speak about the newest update which Call of Dragons just got. It's all about alliance technology and I think it's a game changer. And in order for us to prepare better and to find out which kind of strategies will be important in future seasons, we need to understand what those new uh, alliance technology skills look like and what kind of benefits uh, uh, this skill will take to the battlefield. That's the newest update which Call of Dragons just got and uh, from my personal view, from my first sight, it's, it looks promising. So let's check, of course, for every single technology tree, or for example, for development tech you have fully loaded. Uh, that's the newest uh, skill for the territory tech. Uh, it's uh, buildings and battlefields. Uh, for battle tech, it's storm and vanguard, and of course vitality boosts. Uh, like battle tech got two uh, skills, newest skills, which already understands uh, which kind of changes this will be for the future, right? And for behemoths, it's one uh, newest uh, technology. So let's like find out which kind of benefits these new skills will bring to the game how in general it might change i think it will change a lot so fully loaded that's the skill for the development technology uh, it's basically overall gathering speed which will give you 15 percent more so basically after the addition of the seasonal talents whenever you can gather at your alliance ter territory without uh, any harm uh, like safely uh, everything which gonna give you gathering speed it benefits you doesn't really matter if you are a free to play player or pay to win player because you will be even during the war uh, situations whenever like there is a war zone and the enemies might uh, kill your farms you already have a new talent uh, which uh, gives you defense against anything uh, you are immune to attack and also at that point well it's better to have a faster gathering speed so you will get more resources throughout the seasons right in general before uh, before the seasonal talent i think gathering resources was only viable at the start and at the end of the season so after that immunity the seasonal talent skill and plus 15% uh, well good like who will say no to that right the next one which is buildings and the battlefields well it simply gives you ton of buffs in my opinion uh it, almost every stages of the game uh, of course it's a mid game or late game whenever your fighting heroes are already maxed out i guess it doesn't give you much uh profits right uh benefits but in general if we're gonna look at it how much buffs this uh, skill is giving like 30 percent hero xp bonus from the one alliance skill and alliance building uh, speed 500 percent right and duration one hour i guess it's an active skill uh, cooldown is 72 hours well basically at the start of the season amazing uh, skill to upgrade right 30 percent more uh hero experience and also at the start of the season uh, your alliance is like building like a madman right because you want to get as much territory as fast because there is a lot of uh, villages you know you want to take at the start of the season so like that's generally how it goes every season um i like like this this both of them uh, like uh, fully loaded and butter buildings and the battlefields are amazing like op okay let's go to the next one which is storm vanguard um increase alliance members legions attack and movement speed well let's see how much right 10 percent legion attack 10 percent movement speed well i don't think there is like much uh pure benefits like uh, other uh, gameplay aspects where you can get 10 10 10 in terms of legion attack and march speed in that combination so that's i guess whenever uh, you are during in defensive situations, right? Because these uh, these buffs affect you whenever you are uh, inside your alliance territory, right? Uh, so I guess whenever you are defending to activate this buff, uh, buff which will last four hours, and uh, yeah, the cooldown is forty eight hours. But 
at some moments whenever there's a crucial fight i guess uh, this will be great but i think uh, other two was much better in terms of like my opinion which one is good like best one and which one is kind of worst because it's kind of situational right uh and 48 hours cooldown yeah like that's long and but four hours is kind of nice right but yeah it is kind of situational you like alliances needed to have something like this right a defensive skill uh so yeah let's go to the next one uh, vitality boost the grant stamina to all alliance member heroes and war pets uh 60 uh stamina uh reactivation time 72 hours well i guess another early game uh skill which is brought to the game uh especially great whenever you are rushing your heroes to max out uh, at the start of the season you are getting buildings and battlefields for extra hp uh which you are getting 30 percent here and also you are getting uh extra recovery stamina right well yes stamina i misunderstood stamina is uh hero stamina and the recovery is is command points well i guess that's late game uh, that's a late game skill uh because um, whenever you are fighting it's a, it's the last stages you are fighting for hours maybe in a, one day or two days if you are tier 5 player and yeah i have seen some weird hero pairs because uh, generally people lost uh, their stamina on their main heroes so yeah whenever there's a crucial fight um, against your enemies or if there is a crucial fight in terms of defense uh, you're gonna activate this vitality boost then you're gonna recover your main heroes uh, and you will be uh, fighting with your full potential well that the last one was my mistake whenever i misunderstood i thought like stamina was uh, command points but then i understood that stamina is uh, hero stamina whenever you are using your hero outside of your city well i guess it will be beneficial um if you will uh, just just like coordinate with your alliance members like how many uh players don't have main heroes and if, if the number is high and the fight is coming closer i guess that's a great skill to use uh, the fog of war that's like most weird one in my opinion because it's a newest uh, feature i guess in the game summons a mysterious fog uh, to the battlefield uh, friendly legions inside the fog of war are immune to all range damage well uh, it's hard to speak about this spell this skill uh, because i have not seen in action but uh, it it kind of looks uh, overpowered not looks like sounds overpowered right anything which will grant immunity in call of dragons i think is uh, overpowered like in my opinion farming uh, in the alliance territory immune is overpowered for farming farmers uh, that's my general idea so like this looks uh, overpowered and we need to test it i guess right it's a newest edition if something will be overpowered uh, i hopefully i hope it will be fixed right that's generally how it's done so yeah not much i can say it's a newest skill newest feature uh, which we need to test we need to see actually live so i guess yeah kind of good idea but we will see uh, the last one which is layer teleportation i guess uh, in my opinion one of the best one because uh, it activates teleportation sigils near behemoth layers creating layer portals to allowing alliance members legions to be deployed instantly at layers well uh, i will t i will i will say why i think this one is best one because it saves a lot of gems for free to play players you want to teleport to your town sometimes the newest edition or like oldest skill is to taxi your uh, alliance member who is going to teleport there so like there was weird mechanics in terms of like uh, teleporting to zone one or going to zone one with one legion so like i think this layer teleportation will bring more smoothness smoothness in the game uh it will be more chill um like no more like angry text in alliance chat like uh, how many 
teleportations do i need to have for a season so it will be enough so like i guess it's good quality uh upgrade uh, skill in the call of dragons in my opinion that's why like simply because it saves a lot of gems is already enough for me to be it's the best one and also it brings a lot of good stuff to the game in my opinion in general i think um, what i think about these skills to the new game uh to the game i think they are overpowered in terms of pure stats and what they bring to the game uh but yeah maybe uh, newest things in general in this game are better than the last one so yeah i kind of understand why they had to make the new alliance technology skills like twice as good as uh, the other the, the, the old ones right so like yeah i guess i nobody expected in my opinion to get a new alliance skill text uh, uh, like my main focus was to the new faction which we got teased right in the like uh, last video but like let's see maybe soon we will have newest stuff about the faction but this uh, like this new update i approve i actually approve like i like a lot of stuff about this uh, alliance technology it, it was well thought and this layer teleportation is just yeah so good uh, like i like it a lot of course um, everybody's opinion is always welcome here uh, and in general if you like the video if you like in general my videos press like subscribe share uh, it always gives me more and more motivation to make more, more videos for this game uh thanks for watching um whoever uh wherever you are i i wish you good luck uh bye bye and we will see you very very soon